Hi, it's Elizabeth. Um, I think this video will be a little bit longer because I have a whole tray of things that I just wanted to show. And these are sort of treasures from my collection. Um, a lot of them are worse for wear. Um, however, I there's something that I love about each one of the pieces. And they're not all jewelry. So the first piece is this uh, purse, brass purse. Um, I believe it would have had a chain um, strap on it. And it's velvet inside. Just really like that. And then I have a few compact. Um, I'm in love with uh, art um, with enamel compacts um, I don't have any um, but I was able to pick up a few um, just sort of brass compacts um, in the last year at any rate this I don't know if you can see that, but it says St. Peter's and it's got a peacock on it. And that, my father went to uh, St. Peter's College in New Jersey. And um, I believe that this is from that school. So I thought that that was pretty amazing when I, when I found it. Um, it's very pretty little compact. Um, just hoping up and you can see you can see over here where it opens and then the powder would have been under here this is another little compact this one you can see it says mellow glow boston patented Got that beautiful um, machined pattern on it and it's got a different pattern on the other side more of a filigree sort of a look you know and like I said things have have seen better days um, but if you open it up there you go and a little hard for me to do this the way the camera is situated um, but anyways this this flips up and the makeup powder or whatever would have been under there this one I think is pretty interesting it's uh, I guess that's an Impala some kind of deer or antelope, something like that. Um, the person who had it before me thought it was from the 30s and was Art Deco. Um, it is, it's in kind of rough, rough condition, but I do, I do like it. It's got a couple of mirrors in there and then this one, <laughs> this one comes out. I'm not sure whether it was actually hinged in at one point or not, but now it just rests in there. This also reminds me of my dad. Um, he had a, I think, 63 Impala, Chevy Impala for years and years and years and years and that's what I think of when I look at that. Uh, the next piece is beautiful two-tone and it's mesh on the back side. From the research that I did it appears to just be a, a regular compact that would have had makeup in it, but um, 
when I first saw it, I thought that maybe it was an actual little purse because this is barely three dimensional. But there we go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> I have some things that I may or may not know what they are. Um, this brass and mother of pearl piece is really it's interesting. It squeezes together. Um, you know, it looks sort of like a looking glass, but um, it's not. I'm not really sure what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what am I trying to think? This part comes off. So uh, perhaps it was a lighter. I'm, I'm really stumped on this one. Um, if you know what it is, let me know. Um, there's another cylindrical thing that was sort of a mystery, but what this is, is it's a, it's a pitch pipe. So you can blow in here and it, it will make the proper note. So I don't know if you can see here, there's this arrow and here are the notes going around like do, re, mi, fa, sol, etc. And you twist this to actually adjust the pitch. So I thought that was a really neat little thing. Um, let's see. Okay, here is a antique sewing machine needle uh, case and it has sewing machine needles and a drill bit and probably some other things in there um, I kept this specifically because I have a, a very old sewing machine that it would um, go with Most of these things I've gotten within the last year, so you may have seen them or not, uh, but I did want to share them. This is a little uh, Schlitz beer can. It is a can opener. Let's see if I can get, if I can pull this out. You push down here, and then you can pull out. The part that you open your beer with and then you can push down and put it back in let's see this is a beautiful little enamel uh, clock and it obviously has been loved and used when you open it up, pops, pops open that way. Um, so you can put it on your bedside. And let me see here. You can actually open it up this way so that you can see the, the back and you can wind it more easily. Um, very Art Deco looking to me. And just squeeze it together and snap it shut. <coughs> this is a buckle or a brooch. Um, it's missing the, it's missing its sword. It has a 
uh, C clasp on it, C catch on it. Looks very Art Nouveau to me. And then I believe it would have been worn on, on a sash. And this is one of my famous plastic pieces. You know, it's plastic, old plastic and brass. I'm really not sure what type of plastic it is. I don't believe I tested it for Bakelite. Um, just didn't look right to me. But uh, I believe that this would have been also from the Victorian times, um, probably later. But like I've said several times, I am no expert. Um, so that's just what my little bit of research tells me. I have these two little pots. Um, I think are adorable. Okay, They're tiny little jars. Cats, and then this one has flowers on it. Um, there's a sticker on the back here, and remnants of a sticker here. I assume it was some sort of a, either perfume or a cosmetic that was in there. open this one up. This has a couple of little treasures in there. I do not know what those are. Um, they look a little bit like seeds, um, but I don't know specifically what they are, but I'm just leaving them in there. pocket watch case. Um, I don't think it's particularly special, but it's it's neat. And um, it opens up. And let me see if I can figure out how to get here. No, that's not going to work. At any rate, it opens up in a couple of ways. You can see the two sets of hinges there. Um, and none of the clock works are in there. Um, I thought I might use it for a, uh, for, uh, making a art piece or something like that. And I have this, which is beautiful. Um, I'm not sure whether it was attached to a hair comb or a barrette in the past, um, but it is just a little component that I picked up because I thought it was beautiful. This is a little bronze man. I do not know anything about him. He doesn't appear to be <clears throat> jewelry or anything specific, but um, I just I couldn't pass him up. This will be the last thing that I show from this grouping. This is what I think of as a nurse would have worn this. Um, you know, it's a brooch 
and it's got a hook on there for a small uh, small watch and when they needed to take somebody's um, pulse they would have pulled this out so that they could see their their watch and so that they could see their second hand um, and it retracts right back in there so, I'll say goodbye looking at this little clock again. Uh, thank you for watching and um, hope you're enjoying seeing little bits and pieces of my collection. Um, I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye.